the naming from that comes from antenna shops, which uh, every prefect prefecture. Fuck me. <laughs> Welcome to Akihabira, where we place electrodes on the naughty bits of the Japanese beer industry. I'm Eric. I'm Casey. Today we are drinking the Lakefront Breweries India Pale Ale. Normally, Akihabira is dedicated to Japanese beers, but seeing how this is a beer that we bought in Japan, uh, we figured we'd take the time today to introduce you to where we got this more than anything else, Antenna America in Yokohama. Antenna America is operated by Nagano Trading. They've been around since 2006, according to the website. They're the sole distributor of several large North American breweries, such as Stone, Green Flash, Ballast Point, and Lagunitas. They also have set up a, what's the proper name, a retail bottle shop and a tasting room. So it's kind of like a bar restaurant thing. I've always, I've always felt weird calling it a bar because it, it clearly doesn't feel like it. There's a bar there, and there's taps, and there's food. But it doesn't it's feel not, like a bar. Yeah, it's a converted office space. That being said, that does not dissuade me from going to this place. It's a really good place to get a lot of import beers uh, and stuff that's normally kind of harder to find. It's called Antenna America. The naming from that comes from antenna shops. Every prefecture has uh, one of these antenna shops. So, for instance, you know, Aomori has an antenna shop in Tokyo where you can get Aomori goods and souvenirs and whatnot. Like apples and polar bears. And not being able to understand what the fuck anyone's talking about. <laughs> That's the same idea with Antenna America. I've gone a couple times, it's a very chill atmosphere, it's not super busy. The people there are really nice. I was just gonna say that, yeah, the people there are really chatty, they're good folks. Yeah. Well, every time I've gone, it's been a wonderful experience. If you're in the Tokyo, Yokohama area, I'd highly recommend going, you can pick up a lot of great stuff. We're gonna do Japanese beers, uh, I think, primarily, right? But there's only so many beers we can do. True. <laughs> this is not much of an industry to talk about yet. There are more microbreweries in Japan than you'd think, mm. but a lot of them don't distribute anywhere except for their nearest convening. Uh, on the one hand, I do enjoy going to different parts of Japan mm. and buying the local stuff there that you can get at the local convenience stores or at the local train stations, yeah. and that's pretty much it. But it is kind of funny that American beers by, that are imported by Nagano Trading are arguably better distributed throughout Japan than Japanese <laughs> craft beers, right? Very you true. can find this in almost as many places as you can this, you know, like, theoretical Aomori yeah, polar, yeah. polar bear beer or whatever. <laughs> polar beer. <laughs> so this beer um, is from Lagunitas Brewery. What? Lakefront <laughs> <laughs> So this is from Lakefront Brewery. They are out of Wisconsin. Some of their year rounds include uh, coffee stout. They have a red ale, this IPA. Um, they have some seasonal beers that they come out with. They also have a lot of organic and gluten-free beers because America. Well, here we go. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. Even though my glass is clearly empty. Give it a few shots. So on a scale of 1 to 10, okay. 10 being a beautiful warm sunny day in a park and you are on a slip and slide like a half a kilometer downhill with friends and playboy bunnies in. and at the bottom instead of a pool full of water it's filled with just like deep fried egg rolls and yes you're like yeah uh you're one scandinavia the dead of winter with the same slip and slide <laughs> <laughs> wearing the same clothing at the bottom instead of water is Used engine oil. You could have said frozen egg rolls. That would have been almost as bad. <laughs> frozen egg rolls in, <laughs> in engine oil. In engine oil. <laughs> On a scale of engine oil to deep fried egg rolls, I will give this beer a seven... A high seven. Does, does anyone else think IPAs taste like pine needles in a really good way? I think it's the same. Not as bad as gin. Yes, gin okay. is pine needles. Gin but is pine this... needles in kind of a not so... I don't want to drink this without a mixer. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like this has the kind of like citrusy, piney, yeah. uh, light, fruity flavor that I like in an IPA. I could easily drink a couple bottles of this and be very satisfied. Hmm. I would start with the disclaimer saying that on my scale rating, any Japanese beer and Western beer are two entirely different things. I would give this on an American scale, I'd give it a seven. Thing. I really like IPAs. They're probably my favorite. So this one's not too hoppy. No, no, no. I don't um, think so either. No, so that's good. It is tasty, um, and it's easy to drink. I could put a few down. Do you think some of your rating 
is a bit biased because this is now something special for us? Yeah, I mean, I think if I lived in the States, I would probably be drinking this every time I drank beer. Whereas now, I just, a lot of times, I have to give up and buy fucking super dry. Um, or that's just, if I go out, I might go out for a totally killer meal, and the beer they have on tap is super dry. So you're like, all right, well, fuck me. I guess yeah, this is what I'm going to drink. Why am I even drinking? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so a couple of sevens from Casey and I on this one. Again, recommended if you can make your way down to Antenna America in Yokohama, or if you live in Yokohama, if you can make your way across the street to Antenna America. Jerks. <laughs> Highly recommended office dining experience. If you want to see our last video, it's right here. If you have any comments, uh, any other great places to get some American or Western brews. Bars, if you want to give us free beer so that we talk about you, we'll, we'll whore ourselves out right we now. We know exactly how <laughs> Japanese media works. We're willing to play that game. Until next time, hasta la vista. I wanted to say stay away from the grocery again, but I didn't. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from Notakoshi. <laughs>